up and let me talk. Hold on, I'm talking about that. You can never. Hey, yo, we were holding a conversation, and she said. One at a time. Maybe he's. Head stuck up on a cloud, and I and I thought he was interpreting that a different way. So I. At that point, you went off and Josh trying to hold you. You like get off of me. You just mad at because everybody. I couldn't, I couldn't distinguish who is for me and who's not for me. Like yeah, when I tell you karma, football through, baseball through, that glass and shade eye. When I tell you precision. Then she didn't even stop. She didn't even stop to think, like, did I just do that? She picked up a, the, the plate next. She was like, okay, you got hit with the glass, then you get hit with the plate. Mm. You, I tried to hold her. I was trying to contain <laughs> because I had one, like, you did that, but we can still recover. It was still recovering. We could have recovered from that. But no, baby, my girl is showtime. She said, <laughs> started, we're going to keep it going. She said, your food two time flip the whole damn table. Somehow the conversation shifted to Karma and Jada, and there was like only like less than a five second banter, and then Karma just started throwing stuff. So I didn't know until later that it was because Jada called Karma a he, but it was just so quick that like she was listening to him while he was talking and like paying attention word for word. But everybody was just I think we were all in the mass. At the time, we were listening to everything, but she heard that and her already feeling disrespected. Girl, that glass threw. <laughs> it flew right behind it, came place. Next was my food. Third was my drink. And so it was just like, I get it, but wow. The only thing I ever remember, remember, mind you, I'm sitting next to Karma. Karma's right here. Production is right here, so I'm trapped. <laughs> I'm trapped and can't get out, you know what I'm saying? So Karma's going back and forth with J-Dot. The only thing I remember is J-Dot pointing at her and saying, and at once the and came out of that man's mouth, Karma tore that up like a tornado. And mind you, like I said, I was stuck. I was in the middle of tornado karma and production and I couldn't get out. <laughs> hey. Yes, I love. I love out the door with Karma. Mm -hmm. Me and Karma walked out the door at the same time, and I remember turning to her and saying, "You, you know what I'm saying? Look at us. We the only two people that left out together. Like it's something bigger than what we got going on. You know what I'm saying? I was very disappointed in her. You know, and I was very disappointed because I was also scared because I felt as if I didn't know what, why, the reason why she do anything. I just thought she was deflecting from the conversation, but I felt like if you harm me by throwing glass at me. Then if you had a gun inside of your purse, then you would pull out a gun and you would shoot. You know, cause you mad. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, I feel like with inside of this group of friends that they wouldn't care. They'll actually be on karma side for thinking that because I called her a boy or him or something, that it would be justifiable for her to kill me because I had said that. And I I can't rock with that. At that point. You and him are leaving at the same time. One, don't you? That's a, a good. That's a crazy coincidence that y'all both leaving at the same time. Yes, he's like, oh, karma, karma. This was not supposed to go down like this. How the f 
is supposed to go down then? I'm trying to understand that part. Now get the f with me because we both about to go to jail. Who do you hold accountable for that situation? Do you hold karma accountable for that? Or how do you feel about it? Well, when it came down to the whole situation on some serious shit, um, I felt like it was not called for. I mean, I can't I can't say I can't say how a person feels in that situation. It's not my situation, you feel me? Um, but I just feel like J-Dot triggered her too much. J-Dot kind of been poking, poking, poking a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He been, he been doing this. He's been doing this a lot to Karma, and I think I felt like it was just her last straw. And then, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna let no nigga point at me and say, man, and, and think that I ain't gonna take off on you. I mean, it's a time and a place but I don't, like I said, I don't know where Karma mind was at the point where she was just, maybe just, she was just tired of it. Like maybe she was just tired and she was just ready to get to that nigga. And like I said, sometimes you can't blame folks for what their reaction is to a situation when you've been continually poked at, poked at, poked at. It was a hell of a night, but to the f. How do you feel like the group moved forward after this? I feel like we even how we're going to. Yeah, at that moment, how did she feel? I didn't know. It was very much, I felt stupid. I felt like, damn, I really just said I like these girls. Then we go out and this happens. And I'm literally like, the new girls don't know my tea. Or if they do, they do. But I know the old girls do. And it's just very much like, mm -hmm. this is why I don't put myself in these situations. <laughs> So later on, while you know, after I end up leaving, I get a call from production. First off, I get a call from Lottie. I get a call from Lottie saying, "Why did you do that?" And I'm like, "Why did I do what?" And she's like, "You called her. I don't. You you misgendered her. You called her him." And I didn't believe I did that honestly because. I, I don't, I don't recall doing that. And then I get a call from Greg and you know, he's telling me about me saying that as well. So, um, I don't know. I really honestly don't know what to believe, you know, because I haven't seen it for myself to know if that's really what I said, but I know I most definitely didn't mean it. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't at all. Who do you blame? Who do, do I blame? You, do you blame Karma for what happened in life? Yeah. Um, control herself. <laughs> like, there's no way in the world you should have to throw things at people mm -hmm. because somebody called you a him or a boy by accident, you gotta know when to have the spirit of discernment to know when somebody is intentionally doing something towards you. And unfortunately, this group don't seem to have the spirit of discernment at all because all of them lack in that area. What's up world, this is Mr. Ruffin from Needs Nonprofit Education Economic Development Services. I want to officially welcome you to our nonprofit YouTube channel where I will be dropping monthly videos on how to start and to grow your nonprofit organization. So I need you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, as well as to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on this great content on how to start and grow your nonprofit organization. And until next time, guys, enjoy this video and see you soon. Been hot for a minute, still popping, and you mad hope. Confidence not beat you in my shadow. Yeah, the streets they blowing hard. No check, no net. I need your credit card. I, ch I change in like I change my drawers. I'ma put on a show if it's money involved. Pull up, I value my time, my crew full of dimes. Yesterday about Q 
Candace and about you and about how, um, you know, what we want to do. And um, I was trying to come up with these ideas for the World AIDS Day, like the, the third. How did that go? How did it go? How did seeing the theater go? Uh, you know what? The art gallery mm -hmm. is bomb. It is okay. beautiful. Today, I'm shooting with Sean Black. Sean Black is an amazing photographer from South Florida. Um, he's up here in Atlanta to take pictures of the kid because I got chose to be one of the youth in the South helping push advocation for um, funds and um, advocacy and everything. And so I was just elated, like, yes, a doing her job. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Are you Mrs. Valentino? Yes, okay. I'm, I'm mom. Valentino. Your mom. Hey, I'm Sean. Nice to, nice to meet you too. Don't get too close. I just ate things. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'm going to put your shoes up here. Okay, thank you. But, um, well, good. Yeah, Candace is great. I wanted her to meet you as well. And so the, um, so the art, um, the art gallery is sick? Sick. They have really amazing work. I like, I like, she's got a really good clientele. <laughs> And the space, um, yeah, I mean, amazing artists, like artists that have, um, I can't even think some, um, some of the artists right now, but they're prominent. They have, okay. they, they're prominent um, artists, and they have a, um, a focus on marginalized communities. We talked about the, um, the Buckhead Art Gallery. They went inside yesterday after the photo shoot, mm -hmm. and that's where they want to have the um, World AIDS Day event on the third. Okay, and that's on the Sunday. It's on the Sunday, yeah. Your mom was there. Yeah. I did some shots and also talk about that too. Um, part of the reason why I got the campaign is because of Mama Valentino. Um, Y'all know I love to say that she's my um, best asset. Especially in this world, because most people don't, they come from my world, they don't have a mom that's there to be there every step of the way through regardless. And because the community saw that and knew that, that was part of the reason why they chose me to be part of the project. Because you also get Mama Valentino if you get me. And a two for one special ain't bad. Thanks to your baby here who is... Thank you. Creating like a lot of the, um, you know, the energy and the, mm -hmm, the beauty mm -hmm. and, you know, the, the future. Right? right, right. I love the images you kept, uh, captured in Nashville. Nashville? Yeah, yeah she's like Nashville. Oh, okay, good, good, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I'll show yeah. you this one I captured yesterday. I just was showing um, Ty. Um, but this is one that I was I'm really gonna put on this happy. First. Just a really beautiful hug moment. Or since um, I see you already had that backdrop of the setup, which one, which do you think, which. You want to know what? I love it. Ooh, oh. the brown. Oh, and then I was, I was looking, look at the hard light there, that, that natural oh, light. Green. Uh, the green. Okay. I was thinking, I think even in the black you're wearing right now, if we do a couple right now, are you okay with that? Because I don't the, know. It's for um, a photo book he's putting together, and it's um, funded through Emory Healthcare, and so it's a kind of big project. What do you think of Magnolias? Um, you know, I love the movie. Oh, Sweet Magnolia? Uh-huh. I love the movie. That was cute. Um, or Steel Magnolia. Steel Magnolia. Steel, Steel Magnolia. Because there's a Sweet Magnolia on right now. And it's a little... My mom loves it. Uh, oh, yeah. Steel Magnolia. Steel okay, Magnolia. Okay. Steel. The, the original one and the Lifetime movie remake with the black cast. Okay, yeah. So the, the original white and all white cast and then the um, remake with the all black cast. Both of them. Yep. Sally Field and the original and yes. You okay, so these are so. You know, I'm all set in there. You know. Okay, then, well, that's what I want. I thought, ooh, Magnolias could be fun. Love the photo shoot. Um, you know I love the camera. I love the camera, bitch. <laughs> um, so I enjoyed it. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it.
The mm-hmm. next topic was Jamal and drugs. What was y'all surprised when they said that Jamal was y'all surprised? Was y'all surprised, Karma? I, um, no, I wasn't. But I thought they was going to put the blame on me. <laughs> yeah. I thought they was going to put the blame on me. I was just sitting there, what the <laughs> But no, 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 they wasn't trying to put the blame on you. But because they had brought you into the conversation, they did. But before, you didn't give nobody no chance to even respond to whether it was a you. You automatically yeah. was like, bitch, you right. <laughs> <laughs> You I already bitch, it wasn't what the fuck it be. You just wanted to yeah. make sure. Yeah, I think. Before, because you didn't even give nobody no chance to say no carbon after what. Then I don't know. The girls. No, no, you're right, Ty, because they it was it was Jada, I said. Yeah. So they weren't trying to put it on you, but like yeah, Ty but, said, it wasn't no But you didn't space. even give nobody no space, which I don't know if they was going to show up and tell the truth or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you didn't even get them time to do that. Right when it came out, it was what? <laughs> <laughs> so I was surprised it came back up. You know, um, and the fact that Jamal was now sitting here. <laughs> Cause we just got Jamal at the we just got Jamal there. <laughs> so um right, he, he was the last one. He was yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was like <laughs> you know, like damn Jamal just walked in the door and it's the first thing he gotta be bombarded with. So um and then you know, because of the fact that I said it, now I gotta, you know, stand up on it real quick, but you know, I had already called Jamal, so you know, I knew that you know we we and him was all right. Oh, so you had already told about the drug situation. <laughs> yeah, I had already called him up. Okay. What did you? So how did you hear about the Jamal drug when you said whoever said? Because I think you knew already when you made that comment. Yeah, but you I wasn't don't there. Remember, I wasn't there, but I just remember hearing there was certain parties doing certain substances at certain times and I said oh baby is that what we've come to is that what this group has become <laughs> is that what we do now is this who we are and the answer was yes not me but some so did you believe the rumors when you first heard it hell yeah how you believed it, you believed it without even knowing how I right. believed it cause girl when you know you know. you know what did y'all feel about Jamal replied when Jamal stood up and asked everybody around the table did they see them do drugs Jamal asked a poignant question Jamal mm-hmm. asked, have you ever seen me do drugs? Mm-hmm. That what the question was. And that would have been a no for me. Yeah. Every, and you that's why everybody, 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 everybody. And that's why and he got the answer he, he got. He got the answer he got because that's the question he asked. Right. If he, he would have asked him. another question, he probably would have got a different answer. Mm. Right. Um, you also help him get to the... Dinner being I sure did. I wanted to see the color of the walls was gonna look like baby. Yes! It was only right for everybody to be. Yeah, yeah. You know? The generous queen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you just raise your hand and say, I said it? <laughs> Before all this, it came out like that way. Before Jamal got up and said, You see me, you see me do drugs? You see me do Tina? You see me do What drugs? are you processing at that time? Uh, is it gonna come back on me right now? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so, like he skipped you, because didn't you see him do math? Well, you know, <laughs> did y'all see each other do math? Okay. So, you know, the point of the matter was is that we we had already held a conversation. So, you know, Jamal is Jamal. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like that people are talking about him. So, he skipped over me because I called him up to say that I was the one who oh, said it. Oh, got you, I remember. Skipped over me because we do it together. I want to say, nigga, I saw you do it yesterday. Yes, we're high now. Okay. What do I you got mean? you. That would make sense because I, remember, I do remember you said he, he was at the house and he didn't know he was going to be there. And he, yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I think once I seen like some of the people that he was hanging around and then once, you know, I had the situation at my house or whatever, because I swore up and down that the person would never, you know, that... You know, we were going through that whole, you know, send a picture thing. And I was like, no, nah. I was like, whoever you bring around, promise you, I'm not going to know them at all. You know, so it was just like. So you used to pry with Jamal. It was like, hold oh, I'm sitting here talking to you on the phone, arguing with you all day. Because Jamal was still mad about him getting told that he's he has to take a break. So we had just finished talking on the phone. And he was like, I don't want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh boy, call me whenever you calm down. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know. Pulled up to your house for and they pulled up to my house. A sex party, a uh, meth party. <laughs> a sex meth party. I'm gonna show you And that's why he skipped you. <laughs> that's why he skipped so you. I didn't know it so he did ask me that. It's like he did, but he didn't wait yeah, for an answer to take Like he was moving, he was moving, but he, he for that one he was like, hmm. He was like, oh girl. Uh, <laughs> Make it rain on me. I'ma throw it big, make it rain on me. I'ma throw it big, make it rain on me. I'ma throw it big, make it rain on me. Make it rain, get a little.
the show. My mama know she raised the hoe. Like I'm dark skin with some goals. 401k, but hood though. Nigga, don't come with no broke shit. When I hit the scene, no, I'm flash it. I'ma slay every day, keep it real, play away. Why these hoes be so fake? Small ass, pancaking. On the phone, cupcaking. My heart been taken. My love calls, blue faces. Running through these niggas, yeah, I need to check. Oh, Miss Valentina. Oh, this is not how we're going to go. Yeah, I'm um, okay. okay. this no shame. I, 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 no, no shame. I, I, I talk to her. We love. We had this damn dinner finally. As good as it went. Joking. So, I mean, I think it's all the right way that we should just like all meet up, have a conversation about what the hell went down, get everybody on the same page because that was nuts. I want to know at the end of the day, what, what was it? that you feel like you hit a prop because I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me what happened that night? Mm -hmm. so. Karma threw a chair. That's what happened that night. Nothing else happened that night but mm -hmm. Karma threw a chair. That's, that's the only thing that happened. It was Jada. It was Jada. I don't know. It was no. Jada. Uh, Jada. That's what she was directed to. Oh, but I was just yeah. saying that's the only thing that happened that night. So what happened? What was you saying? Nothing else happened that night. So with what happened that night, I was very annoyed with the situation as far as the term that was used to describe me. What was being, the term? Being a predator. So my problem with that is, is that I understand that with God and I, there's an age difference. But we're both legal. It's, you know, we're both doing our thing. It's not like... What's the issue? There's no issue. So why would you say that? Why would you say predator? What's the issue? No, I'm not going to do that. No, 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 I don't know whether it was alive or not. It was sent to me by my favorite little birdie, babe. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, they were they were very much like booed up, like, and it was very much like a conversation or a, a caption where it was, "Don't worry about us" or "We good," something like that. So it gave very much. They were posting for people to interact or respond or talk about. Jock is newly here from South Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. 22. Apparently had nowhere to stay. 22, not first. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently, he, I don't, the story was they just got together and first they were friends and then they were And I said, that's kind of really weird. Um, I was texting May and I was like, well, okay, cool. They both they go together at school. And then Bay was like, their age is like different. And I was like, how different? And they was like, you're 33, 32. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh damn, I thought she was our age. Like, I thought she was younger than that. So, and I was like, hold on. So we came down here. I just thought she was like, oh, I got a man, you know, a boyfriend. But then when the age thing came to play, I was like, oh, that's giving predatory behavior. I'm born and raised in Atlanta. I know, I know plenty of young boys come here and get preyed on by other people. That happens. That's an Atlanta thing. But I'm very the predator word comes in the fact of if you allow somebody to stay with you is one thing, mm -hmm. but you f on them and feeling like you're entitled to what they got going on is crazy, especially when you find out that he was basically kind of. Anybody for somewhere to stay? Okay, this is what I say. I'll take the word predator back. I'll say opportunities. Uh, opportunities when it comes to sexual oh, okay. Okay. behavior. That's a better word. <laughs>
So, like I said, this the fact that when you use a word like predator, to me, I put that along the same lines of being a being a yeah. That's what the issue was with me. Now, if that was the wrong word you used, okay, I get it. But at that time, I don't know if that's you, if you really meant that, that, oh, you're a predator. No, so that I'm saying, okay, okay, so listen, I'm, it's not like I'm saying, I'm just calling you that. Like, if anybody else knew that, I'll still call them a predator because in my head, that's what a predator is. I'm just breaking it down, taking it away from you so you won't have the problem. So I gave you a new word. But I feel like anybody that does the same thing that the um, opportunity sexual person do, to me, that's a predator. But why, but why mention that wall? Preston, I've already explained why. No, yeah. Yeah. we're going to accept this. Why mention that? Why mention that on camera when you're talking about him when he decided that he wanted to be involved with somebody and then you keep mentioning because he made it he wanted to be involved with somebody. I didn't bring this. Yeah, but you brought that perception of like he wanted to be involved with somebody. Yeah, but you brought that perception is what I'm saying. It's what I'm not saying. The perception. The thing is, but that was my perception. The word, but that was my perception. Yes, but that was wrong. This is the thing. Okay, but then you also did say maybe Jaw was the predator. I said, yeah, but yeah, both after of them. we found that yeah. the information came out that Jaw like older men and all of that. And that he said that everybody he's been with has been older. older yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's the case, then wouldn't that not make Vaughn a predator if the, this guy go out to older guys? Okay, oh, hey, Vaughn would have to him too, though. Who? I said they both. I said they both predators. Right, but I'm asking you, would that not would that not make Vaughn a predator? No, Vaughn's still a predator. Because of the age? Because of the, the logistics of how it happened. You think it happened because, based upon what you was told, it happened based upon the boy needed a place to stay and the only way he could stay there, he had to give some Well, money. I'm not saying he had to give No, you're right. You don't have to. I, I didn't say, I didn't right, say you don't he have had to, but, to. But that's what he back but, was against the wall. And the that hard. My issue that I have. No. Oh, you have an issue with me. No, I don't have an issue. When you call, I'm talking to this one right now. Let's see. What the fuck? Then you got to stop up with her. Then you got to stop up with her. Then you got to stop up with her. When you are done with her, make sure you get to me. Okay? I got to. I'm trying to. No, you probably should say she's good with you. I will. I don't see that. I will. I will. My issue that I have with you is. And I, and I really don't want to go there with whatever you said at the time because it didn't have nothing to do with me, but it just showed me your character prior before however you would meet a wrong way. Mm -hmm. Because you're talking about being called a predator and, and this and that. I, we get what she called you and what he called you. I'm sorry. And all we get. Girl, great to not have our We get it, but wrong for that. your response after that only embarrasses yourself. I already told you that. Yeah, I still don't feel like I was embarrassed. You, 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 you embarrass yourself. I, I, I can't. You can't discredit somebody's accolades because you're in your feelings about what you call. But I just said that. But I just said that. I feel like we're not. Now I'm speaking on. Okay? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Right. Go ahead. So please. after you got done thinking you was on her, and you wasn't. I was. You had the nerve to bring up something and <laughs> ask me a question. <laughs> And I thought to myself, well, why would you ask the question? I why? Guess, okay, I okay. Guess, okay. I yeah, guess. it was coming. Go ahead, go ahead. Because to my understanding, when that conversation was had, your nowhere to be, was nowhere around. Mm -hmm. So I don't give a 
shame and work here, don't bring Dr. Jamal camera and about no group until you come to me. So I, I knew. Point blank. I said here. I don't understand why Jamal is surprised that Vine brought the up. Um, the girl prepared a whole monologue to talk about her not being a pedophile while sitting next to a 20 year old that she's praying on. So, um, but he's surprised for whatever reason. And it's basically like, in this circle, you gotta learn that these girls gonna be ready to throw your on the bus any chance they get. So no, he was not gonna call and text your phone and ask you about it personally. He was gonna wait till he was in front of everybody so he could have his what? Moment. like when it comes to Jada I don't know what those two have going on I don't know what secrets they're holding of each other's but it seemed like there was definitely something else going on there because the fact that you can forgive Jada so easily for what he said about you which I would have been livid over that situation but the fact that with me like there's like an issue I don't know who will be telling Vaughn all this information when he ain't at the scene, but he be knowing the information when he ain't at the scene. So sometimes when Vaughn brings certain stuff up, like that's why I be like, damn, like <laughs> let them folks say it. Like let them folks bring it up when they ready to bring it up. Like why are you bringing it up? So now we can't even enjoy it. See what happened. You see what happened when Vaughn brought up the at the restaurant now it's just like you being you being approached about it let's let's see what your response is gonna be still doing the song i hope so yeah so um I'm are we still doing what song our song oh, all the songs are we still every, doing every, every song, song that, uh, i mean i put i put it i mean you know i was trying to understand why jamal was in my inbox with about your jamal <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I was so lost. I don't know what. Don't be lost now. I'm talking about. I don't know. What you call but me. You know what you know what you know I was in your inbox about the song. Mm -hmm. But the energy that you was asking me about the song was not given like you was being concerned. What are you talking about? See, you don't know what I'm talking no, about. No, I don't. See, you don't. You're know. delusional. What are you, you know, talking that's about? That's what everybody says. I'm delusional. <laughs> he was like, Am I going to still do the EP? And. In reality, we was trying to reach out to his ass for being late on it. That's true. So he came in my inbox trying to check me about it. And I'm like, no, this is the other way around. 
He said he felt like he was just trying to check on you. Mm -mm, no, he wasn't checking on me. He was being nosy. I knew, I knew I, at that moment of time, he was being nosy and being messy. Oh, you I'm, I'm asking you, what are you talking about? You don't know. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, this is the problem. Because the mic is going to go. Don't talk. Take him on class from last time. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Jamal and Karma kind of took me for a whirlwind because I really didn't understand it at first. It was it went from DMs to no DMs to you didn't say something bad. It was it was just very much I didn't understand and I definitely didn't feel like whatever the fuck it was needed all that energy it was getting. I think there was a block between the Karma and Jamal conversation because it was like almost like Karma didn't want to understand his side. Almost like Karma didn't understand or like karma don't like i don't think karma like him i, I think i don't think karma like him and is not phased about what he had to say she just knew that it was disrespectful when she didn't like it i kind of felt like he wasn't ready for me to put him on the spot and he knew that i would go there and he just wasn't ready for that moment mm -hmm. was you willing to fight him that night when he got in your face if it, it bound down to it yes Okay, but you seem more chill that night. Mm -hmm. you, you because, you know what, I was looking fabulous. <laughs> I was. How do you feel karma about the night of the Louisiana Bistro? What happened to oh, 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 oh. So you can never throw me under the bus. You go, ahead, the go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, ahead. yo, y'all take this so, I'm gonna where they come from? We were holding up. Hey, shut the Let me talk. Hold on, I'm talking about that. You can never. Hey, yo, we were holding a conversation. And she said. One at a time. Maybe he's. Then stuff up on a cloud, and I and I thought he was interpreting that a different way. So I. I However, I felt like it was well needed for me. And that's the end of the What do you go? That's it. So you don't regret ruining the dinner. Uh uh no, because gotcha. this was gonna bounce out. This was going to happen whether it was me or somebody else. Gotcha. Do you feel like Jid I learned his lesson that night after all of that? Um no. No. <laughs> he still didn't learn his lesson. Mm -hmm. I mean at this point, karma and J Dot is like J Dot and Karma is like is y'all gonna respect each other or not? At this point, I'm riding for karma because at this point like J Dot you trying. You be really trying it. Like, y'all had a conversation. I thought y'all was on the same page, but you still trying her. So, I mean, sh I'll do a glass of your ass too, honestly. She looked around like, I was like, like, you know what? Hope he got the point. So, you think based up on what he said, he should have, that it was justified what she did? Um, let's not say justified. I can see why she did it. Let's say that. So this all results back to as far as Jada misgendering you. Mm. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. And that goes for oh. any yeah. that misgendering. Yeah. He called her a man. He said oh. man. 
Oh, right when you say man, that's when karma hugged that glass up and threw it out. She threw it out. I gave you my time to work. I don't say that word. I don't. I'm not going to take it from anyone. Not anyone. Not a pinky. I take pinky on my mama. On my. They better say anything else. In my prayer. And I don't think a bitch will ever push that button. Cause I'm a ten, I'm a show you where that button can lead you. You feel bad that the other cast got banned and you still can go back there? Um, you know what? That was. <sighs> and you what even ruined your own food cause you had ordered a lobster or something, right? Um, it was a lobster. Yeah, you you lobster. know what? And it didn't taste that well anyway. So, yeah, I won't be, I won't be going there anymore. Yeah. So do you feel like you owe the group an apology? Are you good with it? Um, Not Jada, but just the group. Uh, Cause they was running. They was like running. You got the plate. You literally, the table about this long, but probably longer than this. And you literally cleared that whole table. Mm -hmm. You don't think you owe the group an apology? <sighs> but do you like Jada? He's cool. He's not my speed, but he's cool. You know, I don't That's know him good. enough to be like, oh, I don't like him. Look straight ahead, too. Do you I know? don't know him enough to be like, I don't like him. He's not my speed. So how he's not on, somebody so, I would hang so out with. So how you on Palmer's side, though? After because she... I get where she's coming from. I would have went off, too. Mm -hmm. I've already had this with you, and we did not have already told you to don't, don't do that to me. And you do it again just because you upset or because we you want to feel some type of way and I'm right here. Once again, I think it's just more because it's Jada. It has nothing to do with okay. you understand a person. I think you understand karma because karma is against Jada. Now, if it was a situation against another guy, another individual in the group, I don't think you have the same strong feelings. Okay. I think more so because it's Jada, <laughs> to be clear. Okay. You just like, you don't care. And it's okay, because I, I, I just, I'd rather keep explaining to you about this. If you in love with this man, J9, boy, I'm telling you, you I'm love you some J9, I'm boy. not in love with him. I just feel you like that, man. you are You his protector. <laughs> I just feel you. like you're by it. And I, okay, that's your him. opinion, and you are entitled to it. But you wouldn't say that? You understand no. when I say that? No. Well, what is it again? I don't know what you think it is. I don't I'm asking nothing. you. I'm asking you, but like, why, how you cannot... How can y'all not condemn her actions, but y'all condemn his actions? How can you forward? condemn anybody? What are you talking about? Condemn her actions? Cut. Like, that's not, I'm not no judge. But you missed the point. Y'all condemn him. I did. You know, I, I do apologize. No, you do. You are your apologize. And the only reason why I apologize is you first, because I know the background is good. But I'm good. So, I can get that day. I can get that day. And I'm the first person I apologize to because I knew about his So wait, you feel like, do you feel like it's going to happen? I knew I didn't have no words. It is going to happen again. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. They don't know right from wrong. So, so you knew. You knew. You know what? If it's going to happen again, I may just walk off because I see that he don't know. Okay. okay. Because at this moment in time, I see that he just want to ask for Who do you hold accountable for that? Who do you feel like is the reason that happened? Karma the black sheep, she was really wrong. Karma the black sheep, she knew it all along. Cause what the fuck? Oh, what the heck, Karma? What in the effing G? Because I didn't get to eat my food, I didn't get to drink my drink. I still had to pay for it. I ran out, but I did send my money. Send my money, cause Why we don't eat for free. Out? I ran because it's a new state, new me. Y'all won't get no mug shot of me in this state, Georgia. I am a upstanding civilian, okay? I don't do the ruckus, okay, baby? So, when ruckus was happening, when ruckus was ruckusing, I was running. I had to leave. I said, well, where's my purse? I had my, I had gotten cute that day. For, I got wet. I got slightly, slightly a bit splashed. So, it's very much like, I'm not doing this, because I will fight. I will fight, and then we'll all go to jail, because somebody's going to die, so. Can we take a shot to just like, you know? Yeah, yeah let's take it. Oh, 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 oh,
what you gotta say Ain't no games being played We on the mission so it's no tea, no shade I'm on my way to the top And I ain't gonna never, ever, ever, ever stop uh.